It seems that every day there is another attack on President Trump from the left. These rabid liberals cannot get over the fact that an outsider beat their beloved Hillary Clinton. Instead of them sucking it up and moving on they will do anything to destroy Trump. That is obvious by all of the leaks that have been coming from the White House over the last several months. Of course, this has made President Trump irate and he has been on the warpath trying to root out the vermin. Well, a lot of Trump's tactics have been working since just recently another traitor was discovered who worked close to him. Just yesterday, we hear that Freedom Daily reported on a Muslim traitor who was working to set up an elaborate coup in the White House. After laying many traps in the White House they were able to discover the main leaker to be Deputy National Security Advisor Dina Powell. Like I said before Trump had been laying out bait for these traitorous come to take, and, sure enough, Powell took the bait and ran to the mainstream media to spread the manufactured lies. However, all of this should come as NP surprise since so many people referred to her as the Republican Humana Vadine and is a member of Hillary Clinton's Vital Voices. Well, not 48 hours after this explosive report was revealed we just discovered who else was in cahoots with this and it is huge. It has been reported and confirmed by two separate National Security Council sources that Deputy National Security Advisor Dina Powell was not working alone. In fact, Powell and her boss, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster have both been leaking negative information about President Trump. Can you believe this crap? Here is more from Gut News. Staffers on the National Security Council describe a culture of intimidation especially for those who didn't come in under McMaster and support the Trump campaign's commitment to put America first. It's like the Bush years never ended, notes one staffer who didn't come in under McMaster. I didn't sign up for this shit and the American people didn't vote for it. The staffer also doubts that Democrats are to blame for withholding security clearances, especially for those with ties to General Michael Flynn. The Pentagon under Secretary Mattis has been working with Senator John McCain to deny security clearances over the fictitious Russia investigation. Senator John McCain was working with his longtime political ally James Comey. That FBI background process may have become easier now that Comey is gone. McMaster uses Powell to plan negative stories in the Washington, D.C. media, our sources tell us. We all know she slept her way to the top of NSC working her way from the receptionist desk at Dick Army's office, notes one NSC staffer. She has zero qualifications and given her ties to Huma Bedin is a security risk. I am so frustrated that this is happening to President Trump. The absolute pettiness that these people have displayed is completely horrific. Though it is not surprising since H.R. McMaster has always been a very vocal opponent of Donald Trump. You see. McMaster is a part of the establishment in Washington, D.C. and they want to stay in power. President Trump threatens their very existence and they are doing whatever they can to stay in power. No matter how hard that Trump works to drain the swamp there is always another one that rears its traitorous head. I think that the best way to handle this in my own opinion would be to fire everyone in the West Wing and start from scratch. These establishment Republicans and liberals are not going to stop till they throw Trump out of office. They know that Trump means business and is putting the American people first, and not their special interests. Many people say that we are going to end up in another civil war soon, but I say we are already in it, and that battle is raging. We need to whatever we can to help support President Trump so he can put America back on the right track. Share if you think that they should be arrested and tried for treason. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.